Hi, I'm here at Watson's Nursery and Greenhouse in Puyallup, Washington, and boy, have we got a garden trend for you. This trend is so big, it's tiny. And this is Mickey Wade to explain. Mickey is the garden designer here at Watson's Greenhouse and Nursery, so what's going on? Well, this is a great new trend. It's a little way to go smaller in your design, still do a design, but have it in miniature size. So it's not just fairy gardening. Fairy gardening is when you've got, look at all this cool little stuff here. Look at this little baby with the with a little, little baby snail. A little water baby. Yes. That's what I call those. Yeah. Yeah, so I, remember I think that. the fairy garden is for little kids and, and little girls. We just had a customer who, for a birthday party, they're doing fairy gardens. But this is different because now I know some men that are into this. <laughs> I understand that. Look at the wonderful little conifers that we have on there. So tell me about these miniature plants. Well, they come, there's a, they're called tiny treasures. And what I love about these is they have cute little names too. And they're perfect for something this small. Okay, so this has the miniature plants in it. And it's not really a fairy garden. It's kind of sophisticated landscape, so we can yeah. add little toys. I love that. Look at. Tell me about your accessories. Well, isn't this adorable? Look at these little pots here. You can put those in there. There's a little strawberry pot. There's a wonderful little classic pot in here oh, that you can that can go in there. So we just poke put them that into in there the ground. Wherever. Yeah. What I love about this one here, it's a little bit more of a woodland garden, more naturalistic. So we're able to go with things that are a little more relaxed, a little more rustic, such okay. as the little pots and what have oh, you. Oh, and look at the little miniature wheelbarrow. And you can move things around. And no wonder kids like this. Oh, it's wonderful. But um, it's not only kids. I mean, we have all sorts of people that come in here at Watson's oh. and buy all different kinds of um, you know, oh. accessories to yeah. make their own little fairy gardens. But Mickey. What, is this a hosta? That's a hosta. Blue mouse ears. Is Blue that not just adorable? Blue mouse ears? I know, it's oh, so cute. The names look themselves. Look how tiny. I know. Oh. They're so, so cute. So you do not even need a yard to enjoy landscaping. Absolutely. I mean, if you live in a condo, an apartment, and all you have is a balcony, what a better you know way to have that out there in your um, porch. And you guys, enjoy. something caught my eye. You did one in a bird bath. Yes, yes. And I have an old bird bath. Perfect. I could do a miniature one in a bird bath. Perfect way to recycle a bird bath. Sometimes you might get a little crack in it and you're not able to use it as a bird bath and put water in there, but why not use yes. this? And oh. it's not just fairy gardens, it's elf gardens. And I know you have my favorite time. Show me my oh, favorite time. This little time here is just so perfect. It's called Elfin Time. <laughs> and it's so tiny. It's and really, look at really it. tiny. Here is the gazing ball. I love how the gazing ball is on a stake. Yes. So you can place it in your miniature Perfectly. ground cover. Perfectly. And a uh, wonderful gift from, for Mother's Day, for, for any um, thing for birthday parties. It's perfect. And yeah. then not this is a little bit more for the sun so you can put that in the sun part of the garden but here's baby tears again oh, another name that's another really cute perfect name so for miniature darling? gardening oh I, I just love this so much so if you want more information on the miniature plants on all the accessories that you can use to do fairy gardens elf gardens and miniature gardens just go to our website digginseattle.com and we have a link to watson's greenhouse and nursery in puyallup